Good evening. Um, for those who haven't seen my videos before, or have seen videos like mine, it's just, I'm just some random guy that rambles about stuff and talks about them. Because I do this, I, um, well, yeah, it's just, I have no editing program, so I put it all together all in one shot, and, um, I rarely repeat, record something unless it has been, uh, unless I screw up in the first, like, few minutes, uh, in the first three, five minutes, and that's fine, you know what? I can redo that stuff, I can ramble on, but I talk about something, I find some subject, I talk about it, I then uh, have ideas about why we do things and why we could always change, or you know, whatever whatever the inspiration is. The point is, I ramble a lot, but one of the things that I like to ramble about is how we speak, how we talk, how we, how we express ourselves. Um, one of the things that I like to express about is we talk in a way that comes from like internet memes, all sorts of stuff that um, that something something funny comes along, and then suddenly everybody constantly repeats it over and over again. And you know what? That happens. These little fads that come and go, but that's okay. Um, out of all these different types of fads, it kind of starts defining of how we are, what kind of people. It's like, oh yes, it's a joke, but then suddenly it's like it's not a joke that you really mean. Oh yeah, but by constantly repeating it, it suddenly becomes a bit of a social norm to accept these phrases and, ter and terms. Now, through history, especially through history of uh, film and television, there's a lot of different phrases that have been said, and these phrases, they will, um, they will actually take a life on themselves as people can redefine them, repackage them throughout the years, and reuse them, and then they become with that set definition. They'll always be with that definition. Uh, there's so many different ways of us saying things that it always has that focus, that single, single time of saying something. Now, as we have, uh, as we have this, uh, if I'm rambling and you don't get what I'm doing, what I'm talking about, um, there are phrases that are said that already have a definition, and there's a way of explaining. It. Because of that, there's no other way. Even though you can use word for word in the same order, but while using it word for word, it can mean something completely different. It can, instead of seeming something insulting, it could be something amazing. This came to mind whenever I started thinking of all sorts of ways of how people say phrases that they automatically have something that something to say about them. It has some it has uh, something to say about how that person feels. And it's always the same feeling, even though if you rephrase and reword it in a different way, you will have something wonderful, something amazing, something that Yes, automatically people will jump to the conclusion of the first phrase that always comes to mind as an insult, but then you realize, wait a second, that's really, really awesome. All right, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to redefine as we speak, as we think, as we say things, as we do that, because we're very, very narrow-minded when it comes to creativity. We're losing our creativity. One of these phrases that is said, I'm just going to go with this phrase because I'm not going to hit all the other ones because it's going to take way too long in, this, in one single video. I'm just going to hit one, video, one, one of the phrases tonight. One of the phrases that's used so much that we've heard, seen it in movies, we've heard it in many different ways, it's the phrase that always goes off with, uh, not if you're the last person on earth. You know, or uh, 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 you'd be the last person I'd ever go out with or date or whatever. Being the last person. Now... As you say it, it automatically goes with the idea of being an insult. Of you know, it's like nope, no, no. But whenever you really think about it, when you really think about it, if you look at the words itself, look at the words, where you can turn it into most amazing and mo most romantic thing anyone can imagine. Think about it for this moment. All right, have you thought about it? How can it be romantic? How can it be such a, a great idea of giving such wonderful thoughts? How can it be something that uh, people will like and enjoy, or you know, something that would be wonderful here? It's where, how to put it? The idea comes where it will be one of those, like one of the most romantic phrases that you can ever say to anybody. It goes with, you tell them, you tell them that they would be the last person because there's nobody else after. That there's, 
that they are going to be the last person that something happens. It's like the last person I'll ever ask out on a date. The last person I'll ever ask out on a date. That's that right there. The last person I'll ever, uh, you're the last person I'll ever ask out on a date. But then you, if you rephrase it the way that you say, you're the last person I will ever ask out to go on a date. It goes with, there will never be anybody else after. Whoa, wait a second. Did we just take something that's usually insulting and then reuse the same words in the same order, but then state something that is basically undying love and such? That, that is a way of rethinking how we say things. It's a way of changing how we do things. It's where we take so many different things for granted of phrases that already have a meaning, but you can then change it for yourself. You can change it so that it could be something wonderful. You can then start telling people different ways of thinking themselves. And the more that you start rephrasing things and saying things around people, they will start rethinking the world itself. You will then become an inspirational idea. That's how great thinkers are. They think of a way of putting the words together to inspire people. They inspire people. By inspiring people, you'll be able to then create a whole community of people that will think in a better way than what we are now. If we all start thinking the same, we're just going to be very narrow-minded and we will not go out of the lines. We will stay there but by thinking in a different way of using the same words, but in a better way. This way, you will be able to start talking with people and they will have to actually listen. They will have to actually listen and pay attention to your words, making your words extremely important. They will have weight. They will have ideas. They will be able to express things. They will be able to be poetry again. We'll be able to speak like poets, giving those words, giving those ideas, giving off so much, giving off so much that we will be able to redefine a new way of life. How's that possible? We'll start thinking for ourselves. We stop talking as much and start listening to exactly what people said. Yes, it'll be a way of rephrasing things. It's like, oh, you know, rephrase what you said. But it makes people think of what you just said. That is what's so important. So whenever I tell someone, you're the last person I want to... whatever. I really mean it. I don't mean it. I never mean it in the insulting way of, you, you know, oh, you know, everybody else before you. No, I mean it as last person for that single event, for that single moment on, that it will change and that there will be nobody else. Now right there there's an insult that has just turned into poetic love when said properly. So yes, if I've inspired anybody, please feel free, go ahead, use whatever, use that phrase, use it as that however you want. Use it, use all, all the phrases that you, all the different things that you commonly say and then change them. Use it in that way and you can be someone that is a bit more amazing. Yes, people first look at you all confused and crazy because you're saying things in weird ways. But because of this, but because of that, how you do it, that's going to make you unique, make you stand out. People are like, oh, it's kind of weird that he started saying things like this. No, 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 listen to the words. Listen to what they said. It will have a meaning. It will have a reason, and within the right subjects, and the right times, and in the right places, you can be someone important. You can then be someone who will be written in history, because you will have those right words at that right time to be the inspiration that this world needs. Up to you. Good luck. Till next time. Ah, my chip's breaking. <laughs> be safe. Have a great night.